Today's your 21st birthday, Ellen. And according to the instructions in your father's will, I'm to familiarize you with the events of your childhood, your relatives, and to present you with your estate. You were born under mysterious circumstances, to say the least. I was just starting my practice in Darwood, where I was born. And I was fortunate enough to handle your father's estate. There was something at the time of your birth. What? Now wait. Let me tell it. Now let's see. There was some gossip. But since there was only a midwife, there were no records. No records. Your father, Lexington Adair, was a good man. Considered a little eccentric by some, perhaps, because of his hobby, which was witchcraft. But he was a good husband and provider. And you were his firstborn. He must have been looking forward to your birth. Unfortunately, he suffered a heart attack on the day you were born. He died within 12 hours. But before he passed on, he altered his will. Since that time, your father's sister, Marion, has been taking care of the estate. She's a strange woman. We communicate from time to time. Some of the people who live in the village believe that Marion's a witch. But as far as I'm concerned, that's superstition. In any event, Helen, your mother, Jean, was quite insane from the day of your birth. She was a good woman, but she'd been sick most of her life, and it's believed the shock of childbirth pushed her over the edge. At any rate, your Aunt Marion cared for her and took care of you, too, until Jean died. That was, um, one year exactly from the day of your birth. Strange. Now, your father's will stated that if your mother died before your maturity, I was to become your legal guardian and take you away from Darwood and Marion, especially Marion. Never could understand his reasoning, but old Judge Peters was with Lexington when he changed the will, and during probate, he swore that your father was of sound mind and not under duress of any kind. Well, my dear Helen, today's the day, and you're officially 21. And I'm officially required to tell you this story. And I'm very happy to present you with your legacy. I can understand what a shock this must be to you. Never knowing your past, I wanted to tell you, but my hands were tied by the will. If you had known anything, you might have lost the entire legacy. Well, congratulations, my dear. You're now quite wealthy. I would suggest you go up to Darwood just as soon as possible. I know Miriam will be very happy to see you.